Hey, Halo Hacker here with another video for you. Um, I've been asked a lot if people, if I could show people how to make uh, dynamic shadows, realistic shadows in the free version of Unity. So I just thought I'd do that today because I'm kind of bored. So this isn't going to be like real shadows. It's going to be using the blob shadow projector, but you can make it real. Not completely real, but you'll see what I mean. So, go to game object, create other plane, select that, reset position. Now here we have a floor. And this is what the shadows are going to be projected onto. Now, let's get some light that's going to make the shadows. So we'll go to game object, create other point light. Move that up. Okay. Now we need something that's going to make the shadow. So let's do game object, create other sphere just to be real simple. Now what you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom and search blob. And now you'll see two things, blob light projector and blob shadow projector. You're going to select blob shadow projector, drag it into your hierarchy panel, and then you get this thing. Now when you move it up, you'll notice you get a shadow. Not the most realistic, but you know, this is the free version. In the pro version you get dynamic shadows, but I don't even like those really, they look kind of cheap. So. This is what we're going to use to make our shadow. So let's select our sphere and just move it over here a little bit and take our projector and we're going to move it underneath just as though it was a real shadow. And make it a little bigger. So here's a shadow. This is not finished product so don't don't quit unity yet this looks real cheap because when you know you when you move your light that shadow is going to stay there no matter how close and far the light gets so we're going to take our blob shadow projector and we're going to want to get this blue one here well now it's yellow but blue to point directly at this at our light here so let me go to rotate just start. Whoops, other way. Continually checking. Uh, hmm. oh, hold on a second. So, here, now that looks realistic, doesn't it? So now let's go over to game object, create empty. Whoops. There, empty. Move it right to where the our blob is. Okay. Now we're gonna rotate that so that the blue is pointing there. Sorry, I'm not very good at this. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to take the game object and we're going to drive a blob shadow projector onto it. Then we're going to take a game object, drop it into the sphere. And now we go down to sphere, game object. And we'll go up to component, scripts. Um, no, that's not it, sorry. Go down to your search in your project panel and search of smooth. You should get two scripts, smooth follow and smooth look at. We're going to take smooth follow and then drag it onto game object. Select our game object. Set the target to our point light. Come on. Okay. Guess not. We'll just drag it right here. Okay, well, this isn't working. 
point light. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. No wonder this. I did the wrong script. Oh, gosh darn it. I'm sorry. Okay. Not smooth follow. Smooth look at. Take smooth look at. Drag it. Uh, smooth look at. Drag it to your game object. Point light. And now hit play. And you should see this shift a little bit. Now, we can take our light object and move it around and we get real shadows. Not real shadows, but pretty close. But as you can see, there's sort of a drag, which, would you, which you would not get in uh, real life. It's 12, 15. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our uh, stop play, go over to our game object, and uncheck smoothing. Now, you can hit play, and look at that. Isn't that amazing? You've just cheated your way into a pro feature. Hope you're happy. So, you know, there you have it. Shadows. Hello, hacker. See you later.